Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time to go over the menu plan for next week. And I do have a small little grocery haul from Trader Joe's and Azure Standard. Next week, I think we're kind of back to normal. Easter is behind us. The boys are back at school. Should be kind of normal-ish. We hope, because this week's menu went to hell in a handbasket. I don't know why I plan on doing all this cooking on a week where I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking. Yeah, so it's okay. It happens. You can plan all you want, but sometimes life has other plans, but at least I had a plan in place and I could follow it somewhat and then you adapt. So that's how I look at it anyway. And so far, so good. So I am going to turn you around and I am going to show you what we are eating for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner next week. Not sure if the website's gonna be updated on Saturday or not. It may not be updated till Monday, to be honest with you, um, just because of the holiday and I'm hosting dinner. So I'm gonna be a little bit busy, but I promise it will be updated. And I have like one, two, I have three new recipes to type in and that takes me a little bit of time. I'm trying to alter some breakfasts a little bit this week. I got some funky stuff going on with breakfast two days. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and as always, if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, just head on over to my website, jonespointatplate.com and you can print out a whole bunch of different ones absolutely free. So let's get started on this menu and we're gonna go right in to the groceries. Okay, on Sunday, I'm just gonna do some quick eggs, scrambled eggs and sausage, probably throw in some veggies in the scrambled eggs. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff I need to do Sunday morning. So keeping it simple. Monday, sausage gravy and biscuits for the boys and oatmeal for me. Tuesday, sourdough pancakes. Wednesday, this is a new one, toasted almond and apple quinoa. I saw it in an Instant Pot cookbook and it looked interesting, so we're gonna try it. Thursday, single serve French toast. Friday, brown rice cereal with cream and berries. Another one I saw in the Instant Pot cookbook that just looked interesting. Saturday, omelets and bacon. And then for lunch next week, you know we don't eat lunch on Sundays, especially this Sunday being Easter. Monday, some tuna with tomatoes. Tuesday, fruit and yogurt. Wednesday, a picky plate, meat, vegetables, fruit, cheese, whatever I find in the fridge that needs to be used. Thursday, just a fruit and veggie platter. Friday, egg salad sandwich. I do mine, I may do it open-faced and just use one piece of bread, not sure yet. We'll see how hungry I am. I'm not usually hungry at lunchtime. Saturday is a clean out the fridge lunch. And then for dinners, Easter dinner on Sunday, I am making pierogies, I am making golumki, I am making kielbasa and sauerkraut, ham, carrot casserole, pineapple bake, uh, what else? Hash brown casserole and some green veggies. Monday, we'll be eating leftovers. Tuesday, I'm going to hopefully make this hurry up ham and noodle bake. It's a recipe I used to make long time ago. I got it from Taste of Home magazine, but it's really high in points. So I'm hoping to be able to lower it and make that for dinner on Tuesday. Wednesday, mesquite pork chops with baked sweet potatoes and a vegetable. Thursday, steak tips and mushrooms, mashed potatoes and asparagus, I hope. <laughs> um, it's a little adventurous for a Thursday because Doug has to leave early to go to school. So we have to eat early. I have, you know, kids this day. Actually, you know what? I might be able to pull this off because I don't have all four that day because of spring break still. Um, I wanted to make something a little more special because this is our wedding anniversary day. So we will be married 32 years on Thursday the 21st. So I tried to make a little bit of a special dinner. 
Friday, country French chicken skillet with potato pancakes and vegetables. Potato pancakes is mashed potato pancakes. I figure I'll make enough on Thursday and then just make some potato pancakes on Friday. And then Saturday is pinochle at my brother's house. And as always for exercise, just mixing it up through the week. So that is the menu for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner to keep us on plan. Let's get right into those grocery hauls. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the first thing I ordered were these Stacy's Organic Unbleached White Flour Tortillas. They came frozen. I'm anxious to give these a try. I really enjoy making my own tortillas. It's a lot of fun, but you know, sometimes you just don't have time. I ordered some more of the Celtic Sea Salt. Canning season will soon be upon us, so I ordered some Pomona's Universal Pectin. I like this pectin because you do not have to use a lot of sugar. Most normal pectins, you use a cup of sugar per cup of fruit. So if you're using eight cups of strawberries, you use between six and eight cups of sugar. Yeah, no. This, with eight cups of fruit, I use a half a cup of sugar. You can use honey, you can use maple syrup, you can use monk fruit, you can use anything with this um, pectin. So it's a really, really great product. Because who knows what my body's doing. Actually, I ordered a couple boxes and this is the only one I got. Some vanilla, some more coconut aminos, and this these two things are not mine. Yes, I know, believe it or not, this cheese is not mine. Um, I ordered this for my niece, Jody. She wanted some, and these are for Denise. She wanted some oats, so that is, oh, no, I forgot. I ordered three food grade pails to store some grains and things in. Last month, I got the lids and the buckets were out of stock. This month, I was able to get the buckets. And then what happens if somebody doesn't pick up their order, they do a like little sale. Um, they, it's 20%, you know, whoever wants it. And somebody did not pick up their tomato plants. And there were some really interesting ones. So I purchased them. I mean, these are just early girls. We've had those before. These are Juliet tomatoes. Small, red, elongated tomatoes produced in clusters. They sounded interesting, but these two really sounded interesting. Gold medal. Huge, sweet-tasting yellow fruit streaked with red. We planted some yellow tomatoes last year and really enjoyed them. And then this one is Indigo Blue Beauty. Produces high yields of red fruit with blue-black shoulders. So I just thought they sounded interesting and at 20% off, I'll take them. So that is it. That's the little Azure standard order for this month. Oh, they were also out of my popcorn. I wanted popcorn and they were out of that. So I already have a bunch of stuff in my cart for next month. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, here is a little Trader Joe's haul. Can't go to Trader Joe's without getting some beautiful flowers. Picked up some bananas. Some strawberries, don't they look beautiful? Some really cool tri-colored, quad-colored carrots. Some lemons, some limes. And that was it for produce. And then saw this and thought this was pretty interesting. It is Shelf Stable Whipping Cream. Thought that would be good to keep on the shelf. Um, it expires in August, so I'll have to use it kind of quickly. I should have checked the dates to see if there were any that were longer, but thought that was kind of cool. Picked up some of the frozen mini fridge baguettes. These come in handy if I don't have any bread made. Some mahi-mahi. Some organic coconut sugar. Sesame bagels. Doug picked those up. Doug picked up some honey wheat pretzel sticks. 
One of the things I definitely went for was some onion salt. We use this stuff on everything. Then I saw this Green Goddess seasoning blend. It looked really interesting because there was a neat um, dressing recipe on that side. And I love Green Goddess. So it is, you know, just a whole bunch of different spices. There's the nutrition label. So that should be interesting. Also picked up some organic vodka sauce. I love vodka sauce and don't make it. So I thought I'll pick this jar up and give that a try. Picked up this candy because Denise over at Dish With D recommended it. Sprinkle Jangle. Apparently this is the spring mix, but they also have it for Christmas. So this will go down on Doug's desk for a treat for him. And then picked up this Increta sauce. This is very, very comparable to the Chick-fil-A sauce, but the ingredients are so much better. No corn syrup or anything like that in it. So anxious to try that. This is a summer staple in our house. It is the red pepper spread with eggplant and garlic. We love, love, love this on grilled chicken sandwiches and on our burgers in the summer. So delicious. And then picked up the Tree Tea Tingle Shampoo and Conditioner. You know that this past year we've really, really cleaned up our food choices. And now we're working on cleaning up our personal product choices. And Brooke over at the Brooke blog recommends this for a pretty clean shampoo and conditioner. So we thought we would give that a try. I just bought one of each because I don't know if we'll like it or not. So there you have it. Our little Trader Joe's haul and this little bit of stuff was $80. I have a little friend joining me for the outro today. This is Daisy. And Daisy is a few days old. And Daisy is a, what breed is she? She is a sapphire gem chicken. So I, we try to give them all some love every single day. They love going behind my hair. Anyway, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I'm excited about the menu next week. I think it's nice and varied. We've got chicken, we've got pork, we've got beef, we've got ham. So I think it's a nice varied menu and I think it will keep us very satiated and very full and satisfied. And that's what it's all about is keeping ourselves satisfied with good food so we don't have to go back and search for something that's going to satisfy us. So my friends, thank you again, like I said, for spending time with me today. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea, <laughs> right? Say goodbye, Daisy. Tell them, Daisy, like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> so thank you, my friends, and I will see you in my weekend vlog.